underrated Roblox games are everywhere, but it seems like not many people even play these games, and it's not sure no these games even exist due to Roblox's poor game discovery. However, today, I want to shed light on 5 of these games that I believe are underrated, and games that have potential on achieving at least 1 million player visits. And to start off, we have Perception. This game is developed by Roblox Group Perception Inc., and this game is a showcasing of the technology using Superliminal, but in Roblox. And Perception is only a demo game, but I would say it's already amazing, and here are my first impressions of playing it. And boys, we are here, in the game right now. Yes, it appears like there's some sort of letter, or like a, a terms of service here. By signing this contract, you agreed to not sue us for some stuff. Yeah, you know what? I don't care. I'm not gonna sign anything. You can sue me all you want. Alrighty, let's just uh, traverse our way here, looking like some sort of a perception's reality. Grab. Yeah, let's grab this uh, chess piece here. I'm pretty sure it is a pawn or something. And uh, wait, what? Let's actually see this thing here. If I actually uh, click it like so, and then like, I'm pretty sure it gets bigger. Yes, it actually gets bigger. And with this queen over here, we could go around, or we can actually uh, back up a bit and actually... Uh, Bring this thing like so, dude! Like, look how small this piece is now, that is amazing. As you can tell, I was amazed at how this game looked. I don't even know how the developer is able to script this. But anyways, I was able to get past the level using the objects, and of course, using the main mechanic of the game, Perception. Interact with surrounding objects. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol. I do not care. Okay, this person doesn't care. And alright, there's a pawn here. I'm guessing I'll just grab that and, uh... Place it, place it over here, nice. I really like the mechanics of that a lot, of like the button pressing and stuff. And wait, what is this? We have to use this cheese as a ramp to actually uh, navigate up here. Let's try to scale this thing up like this. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's actually bring this thing like so. We're gonna bring it like that. It looks like the cheese is now small, great. Okay, so at this part, I was kind of struggling with the level. The object kept getting smaller, even though I wanted to get bigger. But after some trial and error, I was able to get it to work. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah. Let me uh, go in here and wait, what is this, a button? We probably need an object, right? This is an object right there. Look, you can actually scale it down. You can scale it down like so, so then uh, it fits fits right there. And already, what is this room? Oh, Perception, coming soon. Please leave a like, turn on notifications, see more levels like this, and get notified for the full release. Which I really hope this game does get fully released, because like, that was actually a really good demo. I can definitely see the potential in this game, as it's just a demo for now, and overall, I hope the game does well. If I had to rate it out of 10, based on my experience, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. You guys should definitely try this game out. The next game we have is called Detriment. This game is developed by Roblox Group Detriment Community, and it is a fast-paced action-adventure game with varying gameplay styles and abilities. So here are my first impressions of playing the game. And alrighty, we are here in Detriment. Let's go to this uh, start button here, where you can start your unfortunate journey. Oh, that's me right there, I think. Yep, that is me. Oh, what? Bro, the level spawning in actually looks so good. I'm guessing we have to, what? Uh, air dash here where you press space and an E. Very nice. Perfect. Bro. Air dash maneuvering. The air dash can be freely steered with the camera or your movement keys. Here, watch this. Like that. So it's not like a one-way dash, you can actually move it like so. Very nice. Watch this. Dude, when the game changes its level, it's so cool. So the tutorial was very straightforward. It taught me all the movement in the game. There was also this final stage where you had to use everything you learned, which is a pretty nice challenge. Okay, cool, we made it! And if I had to say, this tutorial actually taught you about all the movement in the game. Which I like a lot, so a very good tutorial. Okay, looks like we're at some sort of, like, uh, place. We're going for in the morning, dude. Is that me? Oh, where even am I, bro? Movement, W-A-S-D, and E to interact. Wait, what is this? Dude, we went from, like, a, a platformer game, now into some sort of, like, interaction, like, interactive thing. Wait, that's actually kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually kind of nice. Looks like this thing's actually kind of glowing, so we kind of have to, like, interact with it. At this point, our character went for a drink, slept again, and basically ran out of blocks of cola from the fridge, and it looked like we had to go get some more. And okay, here we go. I recognize this sink. I can actually jump, I can actually dash. And alrighty boys, let's get out of here. Let's jump like so. I'm guessing I opened up uh, this area here. Yep, it did. 
Okay, hello there, sir. How's it going? I can interact with you. Head to the plaza the only way through is through the section's garden. However, can also open a gate using the switches near the entrance. Okay, got it. A few moments later. Okay, business park. No peace within a business around. Let's run out here. Let's actually try to go a different path. We have to jump, dash, and then jump. Jump, dash, and then jump again. Nice. That was the button we need to press. Perfect. Yep, that's another one. Oh, and I see it. I missed it. Was there also like another area here or something? What was that? Oh, never mind. Just invisible wall. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I barely talk during this gameplay, but basically we traversed through the level, used everything we learned from the tutorial, and got to the end. Okay, we took five minutes to beat this game, and we got an A tier here, which is perfect. And guys, I don't want to glaze this game too much, but this game is actually really good. So yes, dash for a minute. If I have to be honest, I enjoyed this game a lot. I really like the pacing of the game and how well the game flowed. And if I had to rate this game out of 10, based on my experience, I would give it an easy 9 out of 10. And that brings us on to our next game, which is Crazy Horse Game. A game developed by Roblox user I'm 50 feet tall. It is a platformer game for highly skilled audience. And the main objective of the game is to collect lemonade scattered throughout the world alongside some other collectibles. And here are my first impressions of playing a game. I hope you enjoy, because I did. And boys, we are here in Crazy Horse Game. Sup horse, good luck in the tutorial, which this is probably the tutorial, right? And okay, let's do this thing. This symbol is a checkpoint, this symbol is a queue, and some, some other stuff. Okay, nice. No clue what that means, but I'm guessing these lemonades, we, uh, we do stuff with it, yes. Yo, the Mario jumps though, you hear that? Okay, what is this thing here? Do we, uh, we go down like so, nice. Go down the E button like this, and we can slide down. It looks like we just got our first lemonade, which if we click on Q, that's that lemonade right over there, nice. Let's go outside here, go this way to this book warehouse. And okay, where should we even go? I'm guessing this is like, uh, oh damn. This is actually a pretty big world. Like, bro, look at this, uh, this bookstore we're in. That was pretty satisfying. Oh, that was not satisfying. So right off the bat, this game gave me some Robot 64 and some Super Block 64 vibes, just based off the lemonade collecting. I love how the game's very bright, and also how the game is very random. Also, wait, can you play basketball in this game? Hell yeah. Dunk it, question mark? Wait, what? Wait, what am I even headed to? Bro, what even is this thing? Just a random image appears that's actually hilarious. Hey horse, up for something scary, question mark? Uh, yeah, sure, Mr. Um, pretty sure that's a cat or something, sure. Hey, yo, the pizza here! Ah, uh, hell no! Hell no! I guarantee you there might be like a jump scare here. Right here in this area, I swear on my life. If there's a jump scare, I'm actually done with this game. Dude, move. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. Looks like it's just like a flashing white screen. Um, not that much of a jump scare. Oh, never mind. It's probably just a horse. Nice. Okay, thank the Lord there was no JPEG jump scare. Ancient symbol. I believe it means difficult creatively, but I forgot what it means both. Okay, so that means we have to, like, do this obby very carefully because it's difficult. Oh, I can see if it's difficult. I can see why it's difficult. They're so small. Bro, how do you do that? Are you kidding me right now? Apparently, we can also be creative, so maybe we can jump off of, like, that or, like, somewhere here. I don't know. Bro. Ooh! We can actually do that! Wait, we can actually do that! We just have to be creative, you know what I'm saying? So as you guys saw, I was struggling a lot with this level. Like, I'm not even trolling. This thing took, like, plus five minutes to do. But after thinking outside the box and using the environment, I did this. There we go. Dude, that was actually so much easier than I thought. We actually don't need to do this thing. We have to think outside the box. We have to be creative, guys. We have to be creative. Okay, so, Crazy Horse Game. 
fun playing this game. It kind of gave me SM64 vibes. Not really, but I would say like Robot 64 or Super Block 64 vibes, mainly because of the open world, the lemonade collecting, and just how the game was like. If I had to rate this game out of 10, I'd give it another solid 9 out of 10. Now brings us on to our next underrated game, which is called Gravedigger, a game developed by Roblox user Archeximus. This game takes place in an underground war between two factions. It offers a fully near mineable environment and a focus on slower, deliberate, and considerate gunplay. And here are my first impressions of playing. And alright boys, we are here in the game. During 1919 ended the war, some other stuff, Golden Empire, Royal Nation. Uh, I just heard something in the background. Okay, I have a Prince Long Rifle. I also have a Grace Service Revolver. Combat Knife. I also have a Mining Pick and a First Aid Pouch. Let's try to make our way to point C. Even though we should be going point B where our team is at. Let's try to go up here. Look. We're going to try to go to like the... Huh? Wait, who made this tunnel? Okay, I just got shot by someone. I cannot see my HP, but my screen is blurry. Let's actually use this first aid pouch here. Okay, I, I don't know why I took that battle, dude. Why did I do that? So we're already halfway into the gameplay. You can tell that I kind of sucked. I think my mining isn't too bad, but my gunplay was very off. However, over time, I was able to learn from my mistakes and eventually started to get the hang of things. I shot him in the leg. Who is that? Really? Bro, my teammate was in the way! But okay, let's try to capture point B again. We're just gonna run out here. We're gonna run out here with our weapon because we're not afraid. Oh, there's a guy. I can try to flank from behind. Watch this. I think I'm behind enemy lines right now. Oh, that guy just died. Nice. Nice again. Oh, I think they saw me. Yep, they saw me. They saw me. That is okay, though. I got that guy. Oh! But okay, we are here. We only have one life, by the way. No more respawns or anything like that. Should we peek our head out here? Oh, no, we should not. We should actually heal. Oh, there's someone! How did I not get that person in time? I don't know. Dude, how many of our teammates are alive? I see him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, got, I just got joined in the head there. The skirmish comes to a close. 176 lives were lost this time. And I've only taken 6 lives out of all of them. Great. Okay, so yeah, Grave Taker. I enjoy playing this game. I really like its mechanics. I like how if you want to get to places, you really need to dig yourself out of there. And for the gunplay, it was great. It's definitely not like your typical gun games on Roblox. Overall, I'll give this game another 9 out of 10. Very solid and very underrated in my books. Finally, we have Isoball, a game developed by Roblox user Guns for Guns 34. And I would say this is a big brain puzzle game where your main objective is to get the Isoball from point A to point B. And here are my first impressions of playing the game. And alrighty, welcome to Isoball. Yeah, I guess we'll just click on uh, this, uh... Wait, we'll just click on this ball right over here. Okay, yeah, let's click on the start button. I love that little easter egg there. Anyway, what is this? Level 1, the beginning. Looks like we can actually move our camera like so, as if we're like in Roblox Studio. Let's go to like this uh, number 3 key and uh, click on like that. And just like that, we did it. Okay, level 2, mounds, pretty simple, pretty easy. You can probably click R to like, to rotate. Yeah, there we go. Dude, I love that so much. No need for a tutorial, just straight into the action, very straightforward. Also, wait, why is the music so low? Nice. Actually, very cool. Okay, what is this level here? Looks like a very, uh, very elevated level with a bunch of pockets and holes. We use a bridge here. We gotta go this way, so we need an arrow like so. Probably need, a. Uh, probably need this thing to go like this. This thing to go like that. Guarantee you this is probably gonna break as well, so, like, it's really hard to do that. But that is A-OK, -okay, because we can actually replace it with this. 
Then we use this thing here. Actually, perfect. This is going to go down like this. It's going to go under the level. Oh, it actually just broke right here. Never mind. Oh, maybe because this thing's supposed to be a bridge. It's not really supposed to, like, do that, right? Alright, so no troll. I spent, like, 10 plus minutes trying to beat this one level. The ice wall kept breaking. I actually got very frustrated. However, after using the slopes more than the directional arrows, I was able to do this. Yeah, so let's do that. I didn't try this method because I thought the ball would break. I thought it would break right there. Oh my goodness, dude. It was actually that easy. It was actually that easy. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, my brain hurts. I don't want to do that again. I spent like, what, 20 minutes trying to do this thing? I feel like if I was smarter, I would actually understand it better. So that was Isoball. Puzzle games are always great for your brain. It definitely made me think about the actions of my placement. And I know this game just hit a million visits, so congrats to the owner. If I had to be honest, I'm not really that much of a puzzle guy. I prefer something that requires less brain power. So just based off that, I'd rate this game an 8 out of 10. So there you have it, 5 Roblox games that I found and I believe are underrated. If you agree or disagree or just want to speak your mind on this video, go ahead and comment down below. But anyways guys, I'm just done here. If you guys enjoyed, please like, but if you didn't, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.